Hi everyone, this is a segment from a podcast that I do on another channel with Bronze Show. In this episode, we were playing a variation on the game Jeopardy, except that the answers were provided by an insane redneck lunatic. I think it's a very entertaining clip, which is why I'm uploading it here independently, but I think the entire episode is worth watching, so if you'd like to watch that, the link to it will be down below. Hope you enjoy! Alright, so we're gonna move on to our next segment here. I told you all that we had a game ready. I don't think I told Scott, but I told Bron. You didn't, and I, I feel like I feel ambushed now, and uh, ambushed. you'll be hearing You're gonna have from, your my, trivia tested, my, from my people. Hmm. Here we go, let's transition over to the next setup. What we got going on here? Let's do. Let's reveal it. Reveal the logo. See what game we got going on. We got Trumpster Bob Jeopardy. <laughs> now, are, we, okay. are we all familiar with how Jeopardy works? Yes. Sure. Daniel. I watch it every single day. Do you Do you know how Jeopardy works? I gotta move Daniel up because. It's... Yes. Uh, yeah, I know. I know how Jeopardy works. Brag. I've been stealing all of Scott's little, little zingers. <laughs> so how this is going to work is I went into a Discord call. I asked Trumpster Bob a bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to play the answers that he has provided. <laughs> and you are going to try and guess what fucking question I could have possibly asked. Love it. To have prompted such... Let me find my scorecard here. To have prompted such a response. So I'm I'm not, we're not gonna do buzzers like in the real one. I'm just gonna let everyone answer, but the person that answers closest to the correct question will be able to choose the next clue. Sure. So let's go ahead and see our Jeopardy point values. I made this made this whole thing myself, by the way. So I'm really proud of it. Our categories are Africa, politics. Should I be able to see it? And so society. You should be able to see it. My bad. I. I still see josephalexandersimpson.com, which Man. I'm not mad at, but I don't think it's what you want me to see. It's not what I want you to see. Good eye. That's a I point. I got you. Nice. Crushing it. Yeah, let's, let's add your point. Perfect. So he's already, he's already coming out the gates. Step it up, guys. All right, so there we go. You don't really, you could just watch my camera because I don't think you really need to have sound. But you won't be able to hear Trumpster Bob reading the answers, so mm. it's a bit of a negative. Society. So let's go ahead and reveal our board. Scott, I'm going to let you have the first pick. Uh, give me a politics for 300. Politics for 300. Ron DeSantis at the moment because uh, he he's totally Ooh. bought and paid for by Iran. And what what's the answering system? Respond in the form of a question. What question? Uh, but, but like I, like do, do like do we do all three of us just go bang bang you, bang? You go first because you you selected. So okay. You go first, then I will have um, Ron DeSantis at the moment. Um, who is the biggest Muslim in the government? Okay. Bronze, what do you think he, the uh, question was? Correct question. Uh, what's on your mind today? <laughs> Just it's things plausible. Off. Very simple. simple. It's plausible. That's how it works. Daniel, what do you think the question could have possibly been? Uh, who's the biggest inspiration at the moment? Who's his biggest inspiration? So he's inspired because he's bought and paid for by Iran. Yeah, we should all be so lucky as to be bought and paid for by Iran. That's what so I'm the, striving for. The correct question is, who is the fakest Republican candidate? I'll mm. give that to Scott, Ooh. saying what, who's the biggest Muslim in the yeah. in government. That's pretty close. That's 300 to Scott, and you get nice. to select again. Hit me with, uh, got, let's go Africa for 100. Africa for 100. So, uh, I'm going to stay closer to 50 than 60. Um, closer to 50. How old is your definitely real Nigerian girlfriend? That's a good guess. Bronze, let's hear it. 
How many people do you think are in Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, what do we got? Uh, how many video ideas do you have at the moment? Mm. How does it connect to Africa? They're oh. all about Africa. They're all about Africa. All yeah. 50 to really on All of his video yeah. ideas are about Africa. So the question oh, was... How many countries are in Africa? Okay, that's uh, that's actually, wrong. There's fifty. There's less. I, there's 50, are there fifty four? There's less now. There was used to be fifty seven. There's fifty four. So he's technically correct. I would have oh, guessed about wow. forty. So you know what? Good for him. He knows his Africa. Wow. Well, his girlfriend lives there. Of course he does. True. Uh, I'm trying to decide who to put this for. What did you say your question was, Scott? Uh, how how old is your Nigerian girlfriend? All right, I'm gonna give this to Bronze because he said. I give it to Bronze. How many people are in Africa? All right. Yeah. Which I guess kind of tangentially corresponds. All right, Bronze, you get the pick. Yeah. Remember uh, that there's a daily double hidden somewhere. Along... Ooh, spicy. Uh, let's go easy with uh, politics two hundred. Politics two hundred. No. <laughs> All right, Bronze. <laughs> No. No, I, I got what Scott was going for. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, um, it's bronzes. It's bronzes. My turn. Um, don't answer. How? Okay. Not you. Um, <laughs> Not you. <laughs> you okay. go. You go. I'll shut up, I guess. Uh, the question was, uh, how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daniel, let's hear it. All right. So where where was this from? What 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 board? What part of the board is this from? This politics? is under politics. Oh, okay. Um, do you believe in climate change? Okay, mm. that's possible. It's plausible. Yeah. All right, Scott. Would Joe Biden pass the butthole challenge? <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if I'd agree with them. <laughs> the question was, would you fuck a trans man? Ah. Mm. <sighs> Political. I I had to put it somewhere. Sure. I'm going to give it to Scott. Yeah, it had actually, a butthole in it. It <laughs> had a butthole in it. Which, I don't know if he knows what a trans man is. I bet... Not, but I think he heard trans and already formed his answer. All right, go ahead. You get the pick. Society 500. Society 500. Isn't that still three? All right, go ahead. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Isn't that still three? Uh, how many genders are there? Ooh, good one. Ooh. Good one. Go ahead, bronze. Oh. Well, it has to be something that definitely is not three. A hundred percent. That's the one thing we know. <laughs> oh. Damn. Doesn't yeah, give but... you a lot to go off. It's, that's the strategy of it. Yeah. That's the gamble. I do have to push you for time, though. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess the first thing I think of. Uh, what's the lowest age you would go? Oh, I know. Nice. Good answer. Ooh. Good answer. Yeah. No, that would have been the closer to the fifty to sixty one. <laughs> oh, I thought. Oh, I just thought of a better way. I was gonna. No. Nope. And what's what's the age of consent? <laughs> Isn't that still three? Still Last I checked, it was three. <laughs> Daniel, what do we got? Okay, this was just a throwaway answer. I just thought it was funny. Uh, how how many stooges are there? How many stooges are there? <laughs> All right. Actually, it's five. <laughs> Yeah. Larry, Curly, Mo, Shemp, Curly Joe. Oh, yeah. So, the question was, and I'm not kidding, what is 10 to the power of 3? Wow! Mm. Fun! Isn't that still 3? I like that a lot. That really says a lot about society. Yeah. <laughs> that does. It actually does. At the state of the education system. Uh, wow, that's hey, hey, hey. really something. No, before you say anything, Daniel, what's 10 to the power of 3? Okay, mm -hmm. so... Oh, boy. 
that that power means that's the amount of zeros that are afterwards, right? So I don't know. Should, wouldn't that be ten thousand? God damn it! He was homeschooled in Kentucky. All right. <sighs> well, God damn can't, it! Can't Fuck. win them all, buddy. <laughs> It's a thousand, my friend. It's a thousand. Oh, one thousand. The yeah. power is how many times you multiply the number. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say that uh, that zero trick only works for ten because if I said uh, four to the power of three, I feel like that might uh, fuck you up. Okay. It's sixty-four. I knew it. That's the power. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Listen. Don't. He was. He was homeschooled in Kentucky. All right. My condolences. Yeah. Oh for two. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna award him the points just, just, just because I feel bad for him. Yeah, I, I would too. I give, Scott, give him the whole Scott's game. Scott's still in the lead, though. <laughs> but I don't do powers of three on a common daily basis. And that's where you, that was well, your downfall. That's where our paths diverge. I'm a big exponents guy. All right, Daniel, yeah. you get the pick. All right, so we'll go to society for one hundred. Society for one hundred. I'd like to say white people, but they're very violent. <laughs> I should have uh, not picked that. I don't world. disagree with any of these statements. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daniel, what's the question? Um, well, knowing him saying the they're very violent thing at the end. Uh, Chuckle. Chuckle. <laughs> please don't kill me for this, Joseph. I'd say, what race are you most interested in? What race are you most interested in? That's not a bad one. Mm. It's not uh, historically accurate, but... True. <laughs> All right, Scott, what is your question? Uh, well, I was going to say, what's the best race? I don't know if that's too close to Daniel's answer. I can accept it. Um, yeah, yeah it's, sure. it's different enough. It's different yeah. enough. All right, Bronze. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and say have a stay again. I'd like to say white people. But... <laughs> There's still three. Um, if you had to one-on-one -on -one fight every person of one race, which would nice. it be? Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. That's really good. That's a good that one. That is a good one. Scott basically hit the nail on the head, though. The question was, most civil minority? Oh. <laughs> white people. <laughs> white people being the minority. Yeah. White people being the minority, and also being violent, and still the most civil. And and yeah. also, incidentally, too much diversity in the world. Well, sure. <laughs> Even a broken clock is right twice yeah. a day. These are like cut... The responses were like three minutes long, and I've had to cut them down to their most <laughs> rudimentary details. Yeah, yeah he uh, brevity is not his strong suit. I would All imagine right. the truck like he was like an oblivion character. Like, <laughs> they're too violent. Ha, ha, ha. Go ahead, Scott. Pick. What, they are too violent. Africa 500. Africa 500. I'm going to make the X. Gibeon. I think did a... Hmm. Gibeon, I think. I think, uh... What That's is not the a title. What is the capital of Africa? Bronze, what's your question? Honestly... Honestly, that seems like it'd be the right one, but <sighs> I'm gonna go in a different. What's your, what's your favorite African country? I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we're covering our bases. Gibia. 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 <laughs> Gibia. Daniel, is Gibia a country? Yes or no? Don't look it up. Come on. Hands I, up. I Hands up. I... Hands up. Don't shoot. It's it's not a country. It's it's. Guinea, I think, is what he's trying to. Like... Yeah. Did you went so like because it was obviously in audio form? So he said Gibia. Did you did you press him for spelling? I did not. I so... would have. <laughs> Daniel, what's your question? Okay, so I'd say the question is, uh, which African, uh, which part of Africa would you like to live in? Ooh, hmm. he's got his African Ooh. girlfriend though in Sierra Leone. That's the whole whole different area of it. Oh, I thought she was Nigerian. I, uh, that's good. Uh, that's updated. good to know. Nice. That's the other one. Spo spoiler plot twist: she's Ethiopian. <gasps> Scott actually got it exactly right. It, the Fuck question yes. was, "What is the capital of Africa?" <laughs> yes, oh, Gibea. Yeah. Yes. A nice country that is not a country, 
<laughs> of, of a continent. And also, continents don't have capitals. <laughs> Uh, keep, keep it rolling with Africa 300. I feel right, like I'm on a roll now. Let's clean this category up. Ooh, that's another good question. Um, because <laughs> South Africa comes to mind. What's right the away. worst country in but Africa? There are other countries in Africa that probably need a good butt whooping. Even though that's object from a Trumpster Bob standpoint, that's a bad answer because South Africa has a lot of white people. Well, that's your that's your answer. Least favorite country in Africa. Bronze, yeah. which kind, which, what question do would you like to submit? Hmm. It might be it might be favorite country again. That's what well, that Scott has... just no it's no he said least favorite so no, you're, you're going favorite. the opposite direction. Yeah, the opposite I, direction. I said worst country in Africa. Okay. Daniel, are you gonna go with like which country do you feel most ambivalent about or? Uh... <laughs> I'd say yeah, actually I might go for a twist one. Which country do you think would win in a fight here in America? I like that. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Oh. Well, the question was, which African country would you like America to invade first? Oh! I'm hmm. going to give it to Daniel because he referenced yep. invasion. I would, too. I support All right. this. Scott's still got the point lead ahead of you, though. That's uh, true. Bronze, Don't get cocky. Bronze, start playing the game, please. Come on. Daniel, your selection. Uh, well, let's finish it off. Africa for 200. Africa for 200. <laughs> well, uh, I think there are a wall. lot of ignorant people in the world, we'll and there are a lot of people that just like like to create banner. No, it How doesn't. would they know, first of all? Okay. They, they don't know. They don't have to believe me. I just shake my head. I'm not reading it out loud. Idiot Todd, no. That is. If, you're, if you're tuned into the screen share, you should be able to hear him read it. N incorrect. No one can hear it. Sucks. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> sucks. <Yeah. laughs> that sucks because that's like half. That's like half the entertainment. It's just his magnificent voice. Oh no, I, I haven't heard oh. one thing. Have you guys? No. Why don't we? Have... Yeah. We'll read it again. Okay. Well, I think there are a lot of there people in the world, and there are a lot of people that just like like to create banner how would they know first of all see they, they don't know they don't have a clue yeah, i just shake my head and think what a fucking idiot comment that is all right daniel it's your go oh. okay um i uh, probably dumb to ask but I was, uh, but my question would be um how do you feel about the memes people make of africa how do you feel about the memes people make of africa it's not bad you kind of mm -hmm. there's like glimpses where he just really likes africa because he wants yeah. to fuck the people there yeah, yeah. The, the definitely real people there that are communicating with him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Scott, what do you think? Ah, this could be anything. Uh, I think there's a lot of things here, people. Uh, uh, what do you say to people claiming that there's a lot of uh, African scammers out there who try to trick uh mentally handicapped people in texas into sending them money bronze a lot of detail on that one okay yeah yeah um i got two answers and i feel like uh, i'll just go with the more general one uh what do you think when people say uh, black lives matter oh mm. okay However, Scott got it exactly right. That was exactly the correct, oh. the exact question I asked. What do you think of people uh, saying your girlfriend is a catfish? Yes, that was the Ooh. other. That was what I was going to. That was already Ooh. said, man. Damn, <laughs> that was awesome. That was that was actually really good. That was a good, hell yeah. I'm surprised yeah. this is actually Damn. happening. I didn't know this game <laughs> would even work. So, no, this is, this is great. This is uh, fun. Yeah, I like it. I don't, I don't know how long it's ever going to last. Like, uh, I don't know if we'll four be Four hours. Play. There were six rounds. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Society, 300. I asked, I asked 770 questions. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's a daily double. We found it. Hey, That's what I'm talking oh. about. So now Scott only gets to respond for this one. The other two are barred from answering. Scott, okay. you get to wager up to all of your total of 1,301 points on this. Next. All of it. All of it. Let's go for it. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't watch gay movies. Oh, uh, what movie did you ask if he had seen? Uh, 
Have you seen the whale? <laughs> the uh, question I asked was, what is the gayest movie? <laughs> Much more general. <laughs> Much yeah. more general. Yeah. I don't want to watch gay movies. <laughs> I, I, I play the game. <laughs> Oh shit! I don't know. I don't watch gay movies. <laughs> That's my guy. I will. I will gladly lose all my points to that. I don't. I don't watch gay movies. He's like he really needs that out there. Yeah. I was considering cheating and giving it to Scott if he gave a funny enough answer for a movie. <laughs> but the whale. The whale have you seen the? Have yeah. you seen the Fast and the Furious? <laughs> You see, that would have done it. Yeah, I should have got that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, politics, 500. What'd you call me? Need my points back. Uh, okay. <laughs> I would say to enforce the non-profit laws, such as where Black Lives Matter was nothing but a Democrat slush fund. All right. Scott? What would be your first move as president okay bronze that's also a good answer that probably is the answer good question mm. uh if you could make donald trump do anything as president what would he do current president donald trump if yeah since he is currently the president, what would you make him do? Which means he president? can't run again in twenty twenty four. Oh no, he's gonna make he's gonna amend that uh he's gonna amend that amendment and just be president forever. Yeah. Alright, Daniel. Um, well I guess straightforward. What law do you think should be enforced? The question was what is one law that would fix the US? You all have very close mm. answers. Hmm. But I think Scott said something that it would improve or fix the U.S. in some way in his question. I, I, I said what would, what would be your first move as president. What would be your first move as president? Braun said what would you make Trump do as president. Yeah. Daniel said what would you do? What would you say, Daniel? Uh, what law do you think should be enforced? Maybe even Daniel. I think we're going to yeah. go with Daniel then. Yeah. His is more general. And he's at 1,600 points. Damn. I remember when I had a lot of points. Good times. It's good. It's good days. All right. Um, Bronze doesn't. No. We'll go with Society for 200. Society for 200. Deliverance. <laughs> All right, Daniel. Scott's a movie uh, guy, so you have to get this. Yeah, but Daniels f was homeschooled in Deliverance. Yeah. So he's got the advantage, actually. What? Just, just Deliverance. Just straight up Deliverance. I, I, I gotta push you for time, man. Okay. Um. Don't look at the answers. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not looking at the answers. I'd say um, if society could approve on one common issue, what would it be? Okay. That's ahead, not Scott. the question. Um, now, it's interesting that we've that we've done uh, the other question because if we hadn't, I might have said, "What's your favorite gay movie?" Um, <laughs> but let's just go with what's your favorite movie. All right, Bronze. Um, what would you like the postal service to perform at? Would <laughs> <laughs> be ideal. <laughs> Scott got it exactly right. What's his favorite movie? It's Deliverance. So he has. So he does watch gay movies. Ned Beatty gets brutally raped in that movie. That's gay. <laughs> I, think, I think he's. I think he's given us some false information here. All right, we're gonna those, do those are two conflicting questions, Bob. We do politics for one hundred. Finish off. Separation of church and state. All right, Scott. Oh. What's your favorite part of the Constitution? What's your least favorite part of the Constitution? All right. Yeah. Bronze, is that what you were going to say? That was what I was going to say. And now my brain it's is It's a empty. shame that you can't buzz in, so you just got to depend on Scott <laughs> getting it wrong. So Yeah. 
Um, which he didn't. He got it right, but you can say an answer for fun. <laughs> you can say something too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll, well, I'll I mean, say, you could come closer. There's something you could say that could come closer. So. Hmm. Uh, I'll say, what's your favorite piece of liberal propaganda? Okay. <laughs> Daniel. Uh, mine's a little ridiculous, but I think mine would be, um, what should we do to lower the power that Christians have in the U.S.? Well, we already have this. It's the point of the First mm. Amendment. I asked him, what is the gayest amendment? I, um, I swear to God, I almost said those exact words. <laughs> I was so close to saying that. Daniel, which amendment is a separation of church and state in? Uh, I'm not too... Um, I'm Take not a guess. too Come involved on. in our amendments. Come on. Just just a random number? Just a ra literally a random number? Yep. Uh, seven. Nope, it's the First Amendment. It's 39. Oh. Everyone knows it's 39. 39th yeah. Amendment. Yep. I need to look, I need to read Daniel, into, like... Uh, it's literally the first five words of the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> separation of church and state. We the people. We the people, separation of church and state. Four score and seven years ago, separation of church and state. Yeah. Religion is no more, ladies and gentlemen. Bronze, you're not out of it yet, because we're going to move on to double Trumpster Bob Jeopardy, where the point values are doubled. Hell yeah. Mm. Let's look at our point values. And the categories are Joe Biden. Nice. Science. Mmm, his favorite. And the grab bag category. Little potpourri. Love it. Mm. Little uh, Bronze, you have the least amount of points, so you get to select first. How many points One, does Bronze have? 100. I love it, in. Nice. Well, okay. I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm going all in. Joe Biden, a thousand. Joe yes. Biden, a thousand. Do it. He was butt fucking Hunter Biden when he uh, uh, was raising Hunter Biden. I think that's oh, the wrong okay. one that's supposed to be there, but it don't matter. It's fine. <laughs> okay. It's still all Biden related, so go ahead. All right. Um, if you get this right, you will be in second place. Okay. Um, how do you? How good do you think Biden is as a parent? Come on. All right. Daniel. Uh, I'd say it would be, what do you think led to Hunter giving the PC uh, fixing company the laptop that had all of Joe's emails? He was emails? butt fucking Hunter Biden when he was raising Hunter Biden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott. Uh, I think Bronze basically has it. I just got to figure out a way to word it better. He would... Uh... Yeah, what, what did that? Bronze say? Yeah, what exactly did you say? Uh, it was, how good do you think Joe Biden is as a parent? As okay. a parent. All right. Um, he was... Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what do you think Joe, Joe Biden's uh, the parenting effect on Hunter Biden was? I feel like that's still too similar, but... The uh, the question I asked was the biggest secret people don't know about Joe Biden. Like oh, was, not even mm. specific to parenting. Ooh. He was butt fucking Hunter Biden when he was raising Hunter Biden. Good to know. Good to know. I'm yeah. gonna give that to Bronze. That, that's a Bronze job. Out of okay. out of sympathy. Thank you. I was going for that. The sympathy vote. Uh that's supposed to be. Don't select the two because it's fucked up. Because they got backwards somehow. Uh, I'll still award you the thousand, though. Okay. Could you just select the thousand so it'll be right, please? I did select the thousand. Okay. Do it again. Uh, okay, let's do 200 then. Let's do Biden 200. I would say nine out of 100. Nine out of 100. Uh, how many votes for Joe Biden were illegitimate? Hmm. Nine percent. Mm. Yeah, that's not a bad guess, Daniel. What do we got? Okay, so any about Biden, um, I'd say it would have well since a lot of the uh, 
LGBT related stuff happened uh, as Biden was being president, I'd say it might have something to do about gay people. How many how many gay people do you think will become school shooters or something? Okay, not bad. <laughs> that's that's good numbers. All right, Scott, let's hear it. How would you rate Biden as president on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> Nine out of a hundred. Yep. Mm. Point nine out of ten. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. The question was, what is Biden's IQ? Oh. <laughs> he thinks IQ is uh, up to a hundred. He so, uh, he he self reported a bit on uh, on his own yeah. IQ with that he answer. Saw, he saw his IQ of ninety and was like, "Ooh, you know, that's a oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, uh, the the smartest person's a hundred, and it goes down from there." Uh, that's awesome. What are we thinking here? I'm trying to decide who this goes for. I don't know. You your call. Are, you guys are pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to Scott because he's last. This is the right call. I made this whole little setup myself, so it's a little broken. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna click this just so it's grayed out. There you go. There we go. Perfect. I think I accidentally mm. advanced the slide because I clicked the letters instead of the. All right, go ahead. Grab bag six hundred. Grab bag six hundred. The Pink Panther. Oh. <sighs> what the fuck could this possibly be? What? Is your uh, who's your favorite furry? Okay, mm. that would have been a good question. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what's your least favorite uh black uh Lives Matter group? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good question too. <laughs> the Pink Panthers. <laughs> Pink Panthers of the 1960s. They were painting all this shit pink, and the guy was just trying to paint yeah. it all blue. They were causing <laughs> havoc. A yeah. gay, a gay black rights group. Daniel, what's your question? Least favorite NFL team. <laughs> mm. The question was the most indoctrinating children's cartoon. Ah. <laughs> Which I think, I think odds are that he just this is the only cartoon he was even aware of. That it, yeah, it's like he could not name another one. Yeah, because like I think you can make a lot better case for like a like a Steven Universe than a, than a Pink yeah. Panther. Although the Pink Panther is pink, and that is going to turn all the kids gay. So I see where he's coming from. True, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, there's also maybe he's sp- talking about in his time, like when it when he was still watching. Maybe him, watching him like in the theater. Is that? <laughs> it's the only place you can see him. Um, yeah. There's also a SpongeBob. Uh, Steven Hillenburg said that SpongeBob was supposed to be asexual. What the fuck? Like actually? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not kidding. He was. He's supposed to be. God damn it! Asexual. Rep- that's actually. That's actually how sponges reproduce. They actually do reproduce. True. That's true. I do think. Then why that was I- he hanging out with Patrick all the time? Or and Sandy. It's because he's gay. Because that's he represents lust. They all represent a sin. Yeah, they're all sins. <laughs> Patrick represents sloth. Fucking yeah, we represent Mr. Krabs yeah. represents greed. You see? Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. I think that's like I don't know. That was some like sort of they were trying to say SpongeBob satanic like back in the day because they were if you tangentially like sort of draw these pads, you could say like oh Gary eats sometimes so he's gluttony. Yeah, because Patrick can't be sloth and gluttony at the same time, so it's. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, for, I forgot. I forgot what your responses were. It doesn't matter. Uh, just, just favorite furry. I'll just give it to was mine. Bronze because I'm yeah. bored and I don't even. Sure. I don't even. Nowadays, the most sure. the most hip SpongeBob theory is the new skin theory that just came out. Is that even a theory, That's, or is that just that like, like characters like to wear? suits that represent other characters in the show uh i'm like not, really I'm not certain, i forgot but there was a big like one and a half hour video i got a skin I'll theory, talk about skin theory nice i'll skin your theory all right <laughs> hello internet. welcome to skin theory 
<laughs> just tears the skin off. I love that. The next creepy pasta. Scott probably doesn't know what you're referencing. But... I, I I totally get it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, right, Bronze. Let's, let's go with uh, science four hundred. That's an exciting <gasps> category. Yeah. A four to a five. If you if it's six, it's it's getting up there. Okay. Four to a five. Six, it's getting Ooh. up there. Science. Nobody call. take my answer. Your call, Bronze. Um, Don't you take my second answer. Scott's a scientist, by the way. So, I am a scientist. Yeah. Oh, no. He don't know this more than anyone. Um, I may what, is the bo- what is the boiling point of water? <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. That's not even that. That's not even implausible for him. Like It is not. <laughs> Go if ahead. we're going IQ tops out at 100, anything yeah. is possible. Well, everything tops out at 100. True. Except the, the highest boiling number. point of water. Except the boiling point of water. <laughs> Unless you're on Celsius, then, uh, then was, you're doing it yeah, right. That was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Not in America. It doesn't buy the top. 212, a nice round number. Yeah. It's you good fucking for weather. idiots. It's good for weather. I like it's it. trash for weather. Uh, it's trash it's for everything. Wrong. All right. Daniel. I mean, mine's weirdly specific. Uh, what temperature? What temperature in Celsius is the melting point of ice? Not okay. far off. He's mm. still about, you know, six degrees off. But <laughs> <laughs> he just would somehow think it's. <laughs> He's just shooting a shot. <laughs> Go ahead, Scott. What are you on the Kinsey scale? Ah. <laughs> mm. uh... I'm going to give it to bronze, but the question was, what is the acidity of water? Ah! Which is still... Daniel, Daniel, what is the acidity of water? Tell me. You got this, baby. Hands up. Hands up. The acidity. Acidity of water. Seven. Yes! You did it! Yes! Yes! You know what? That's a point. Seven acids. (laughs) That's a point for Daniel. That's a point. One point. How many was this worth? 200. 400. 400. Perfect. See, Bronze, I told you you could turn around. You're in the lead. With 2,000 points. points, actually. Hey, all of us are getting glow ups. Yeah. Scott's still stuck at 500, but he can Sad turn around. loser. <laughs> I had my time in the sun. Go ahead, yeah. Bronze. Uh, let's go grab bag 400. Red bag 400. Oh, oh it's a daily double. Oh, holy hey. shit. Whoa. All right, Bronze. So the other players do not get the answer. It's just you. No, you can wager. Your... From the camp. Your camp. Just keep it. Just leave it. We don't need it. Okay. Just leave it. We're in a tense moment of the game. I think I, I, I don't have to leave Discord. Right. I can literally just do that. Oh, there you go. See? Perfect. Go ahead, Bronze. You can wager up to your entire point value of 2,100 points. You know what to do. I don't know if I have the strength to do it. (laughs) I'm going to wager 1,800. Coward! That's still a lot. Let's see here. Well, that's obvious, sir. Rotation around the sun like an egg. Like an egg. <laughs> like, like, a egg. A, like a damn egg. <laughs> like an egg. Go ahead. Let's hear it, Bronze. I mean, there's an obvious answer of like... It's obvious. The earth rotation around the egg. Around the sun yeah. like an egg. <laughs> around the egg, yes. Um... I do have to push so it. Got, got to be like a flat earth-related question. So like... I guess the easy answer would be, uh, does the Earth revolve around the sun? <laughs> Is that That's your the answer? safest one. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to count it. The question I asked was, how do the seasons work? Oh. Which is <laughs> that would also totally wrong. It's an interesting way to explain the seasons. Uh, I am a, I'm a little impressed he believes the Earth rotates around the sun. Yes. That, that is true. <laughs> yeah. um, like Daniel, how do the seasons work? Tell us. For another point. Oh, how do the seasons work? Hands up. All right. All right. 
Well, uh, just... If you get it wrong, you lose 600 points. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Alex Trebek going into business for himself. I'd say it would just be... Well, I'm not pinpointing on the sun, but I know the Earth's rotation has to involve why we get things like winter and summer. It's like not... an egg. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say that's close enough. Scott, tell us why. Let's hear it. Well, it's obvious the Earth rotation around the sun like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has to do with the the tilt of the Earth's That's axis great. and where where you are on the Earth and That's which why... hemisphere in relative to the sun, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's why down in the southern hemisphere they have the inverted seasons. If they don't the even season... know what they're doing down there. If the seasons were like how Scott, where how Bob believes, where the Earth just goes farther from the sun. Then the, the entire same. planet would have the same seasons. Yeah, I still Much technically like got it right. I did say it involved the rotation of Earth. I will subtract all your points. <laughs> you have zero points now. No, my, my I'm gonna my get rid of 419 from... points. You're at 1,420. <laughs> Don't celebrate. Don't patronize me, or patronize me even. Patreon eyes. Perfect. All right, bronze, it's your go. I totally oh, okay. forgot that was even a question. I was like, how'd you lose all your points? <laughs> <laughs> Did I mess something up? Go ahead. Uh, let's do science 200. Science for 200. An easy science question. Easy this science. should be no problem. Uh, they, I don't know what it's called, but they had a, uh, an ingredient that was, uh, is, uh, it, it can change your DNA, and they supposedly put an inhibitor in there to stop that. All right. Bronze, let's hear All right. So, like, the easy, like, how does the vaccine work? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Daniel. Uh, it's... How, uh, how did MK Ultra work? Not bad, not bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also would have said vaccine something, but that's taken, so uh, let's go with, uh, with uh, what's Monsanto doing with kale these days? <laughs> An ingredient that changes your DNA. <laughs> the question was the primary ingredient in the vaccine. Primary ingredient is the one that changed your DNA. I like that. Yeah, primary that's ingredient. how it works. All right, Bronze, you are a point under th uh, second place. Ooh. But you get the pick. I have to say something funny so I get one point. Or unfunny so you get one taken away. Yeah. Or, um, or 600. Or 2,000. Uh, um, you're going to owe me points by the end of this. Let's go Joe Biden 400. Joe Biden 400. Remember, there's still another daily double to be found. But grapefruit, mm. because he likes the taste of semen. And of all the fruits, grapefruit probably tastes the most like semen. I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not. You, you had to heard. justify that at the end. So I, I don't know if that's true. I don't... I have... Look, I haven't uh, drank a lot of cum in my time, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't imagine it's grapefruity. No? I don't know no. what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> I don't know what fruit it would be compared to. I mean... So I've heard. <laughs> Yes, of course. I like that he had to back out of that, like, quickly. Of course. Like, if someone... Yeah. It's like when you say, like, oh, this tastes like shit, and they're like, how do you know what shit tastes like? It's like, <laughs> I, 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 how it smells, you know? You, relative to... Uh, you know. It's like that old gag. Go ahead, Bronze. Yeah. All right. I mean... For going for boring answers, which appears to be my track record, it would be, uh, what is Joe Biden's favorite food? Okay, not bad. Go ahead, Daniel. Okay, if uh, if that said she likes the taste of it, then I would have probably picked uh, what is Kamala Harris's favorite mm. Uh, mm. fruit. Yeah, I don't think about that. Okay. But knowing this person that we're talking about, that would be my answer. All right. Or yeah, my question in this case. Go ahead, Scott. Uh... It's definitely something like that, but I'll go more general. What What is the only thing Joe Biden eats? <laughs> uh, the question was, what cocktail do you think Biden orders? 
Ooh. Grapefruit? Uh, cocktail? Grapefruit cocktail. Grapefruit cocktail. Okay. He doesn't take cocktails. He just takes the fucking tall keystones, you know? He, he doesn't know what they are. Grapefruit. Yeah. They're for fucking fags. That's true. I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give that to bronze. Yep. Okay. I don't know if I deserve that. Um, all right. Well, you made a good case. I'm going to give it to Scott. Nice. No, I do deserve it. I fully no, deserve it's it. Too late. It's already done. It's already done. <laughs> it's done. The die is cast. this. <laughs> Science one thou. Science one thou. Mm. When asteroids hit the Earth... You know, that uh, common sort of thing yeah, that happens. Yeah, it happens, happens all the time. Uh, how are we all going to die? Okay, not bad. Go ahead, Browns. Uh, how did the 90s Super Mario Brothers movie begin? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It did. That is how it began. Yeah. Goodbye, dinosaurs! Let's Let's hear it, Daniel. What do we got? When do you think the gas prices will start going down? Nice. Ooh, mm. not bad, not bad. So we got, how will we all die? How did the uh, Super Mario Brothers movie begin? When will gas prices go? It's got to be Super Mario, right? Yeah. The question was, oh my god. What is the biggest contributor to climate change? Huh. Oh. <laughs> I guess okay. that might affect some things. I guess, I guess it might change the cl the climate. He might have totally misunderstood the question and thought I was talking about. How will about, this like... impact the economy? I think but it's no. possible he's never actually heard the term climate change, and he's just like, "Oh, what would no, change?" No, because he said before oh, probably that gay for. sex contributes so much to it because oh. they, they fart all the time when they're having the sex. That's true. But, uh, I would say yeah. the biggest contributors that asteroids hit the Earth. I'd say the biggest contributor to that is our existence. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, go ahead, Scott. Uh, grab bag two. Grab bag two. United States. Damn. You need to instill incentives oh, this is to a get these clip. companies to take these homeless people, house them, and give them jobs. And that's what because, Trump wants know, to do, right? Well, totally. that's along the lines of what he wants to do. Oh, okay. And, uh, All right. So the question, the answer was just the United States, but I thought United that was amusing. States. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, we should, he sounds like Patrick Bateman in the beginning of American Psycho. It's like, we need to house the homeless and stop with anti-Semitism. Take down the apartheid in uh, South Africa. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he is a real American psycho. Um, the United States. Uh, the United States. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, I will offer the hint Shit. that you will never guess this in your entire life. In a million years? Yeah. Um, how does the 1990s Super Mario Brothers movie start? <laughs> well, that's just wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Go ahead, Bronze. Um, if you reference something this... other than a movie, you're closer than... All right. <laughs> Uh, how do the seasons work? <laughs> the United States the patrols United States. them. <laughs> yeah. It could be anything, so I get that. Go ahead, uh, Daniel. Which country has the biggest issue involving unemployment? Mm. Huh. The question was the most overrated country. What? Ah. Yeah. Wow. But he's a, he's a patriot. He loves the United States. But it's That's... overrated. But That's it's really overrated. Because the homeless come over here and they can't find houses, and we need to take care of that by killing them. Follow up them. question Does he know what overrated means? There's a, about a 9 out of 100 chance that he does. Okay. Solid. <laughs> All right, Daniel, I'm going to give it to you. You right, got some uh, big point values to play with here. All right, we'll go with uh, science for 600. Science for 600. Let's clean it up. Ooh! Daily double. Oh shit! Oh shit! So you, uh, so the other two players cannot participate. It's just you. You have one thousand six hundred and twenty points that you can wager. How much would you like to wager for this daily double for right. science? We'll do five. We'll do five hundred. Five hundred. Coward. Coward. Yeah. So Technically, we... I 
say there's nine. A lot of people want to say there's eight, so I would say there's only seven. There's probably over 17 or 19. Um, I'll, I'll go on record as saying there's eight. That is fucking unhinged. He he answered for like besides what he's saying about what everyone else or conjecture, he for himself answered seven, eight, and nine in that statement separately. Let's hear it, Daniel. That's nuts. Uh. Oh my god. Uh, I'd say because it's a science. I'm gonna go with. How many uh, planets are in our solar system? That's correct. Wow. Good yeah, job. He got it correct so, at the end. So. Technically, I'd say there's nine, so he's pro-Pluto. A lot of people want to say there's eight, the anti-Pluto types. So I would say there's only seven. Out of so who else, who else is he knocking out? Is, is Saturn out of the mix? Too many rings? Uranus is too small, man. Yeah, it doesn't I've, pass the something <laughs> I've something I've never heard before. No, it doesn't um, pass the Trumpster Bob bottom. Challenge. True. I don't think Bronze knows about that. Do you know about no, that, like, Bronze? Saturn's rings counts as a planet. I feel like I don't want to know. <laughs> it's like, pretty funny. Um, it's, Trump's, n- noted a straight man, Trumpster Bob. Um, the way he can. Uh, I guess he wants to, like, line up everyone in America and inspect himself, but he wants to uh, inspect your butthole because uh, in doing so, he can determine if you're gay by how, uh, presumably, how blown out your butthole is. Uh, and mm. then, I don't know, if you are gay, he sends you to the camps or whatever. But uh, it, it's not uh, a bad system, actually. I think I've heard him mention that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, if your ass is blown out, it's either one of two things. One, you're gay, or two, you eat at Taco Bell. True. Ooh. Imagine being gay and eating a Taco Bell. Oh, well, that's a rough lifestyle. The very idea. Dan, you, you get to go again. All good, right. Good choice, by the way. You should have fucking risked it. Uh, we'll sure. go uh, grab back for one thousand. All right. You, I, I just think you're a nice guy. But let's Aww. go back to the Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to talk more about the Pink Panther. About the most indoctrinating cartoon of all time. I think you're a nice guy, but let's get back to the Pink Panther. Let's get serious. Okay. Go ahead. I'd, I'd say it would be, what are your honest opinions about me? Okay. Go ahead, Scott. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it might be some. It could be something like that, or the I think you're a nice guy could be a complete non sequitur. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with the question so let's go that although we've 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 asked like most indoctrinating cartoon we've done favorite movie um uh what uh what is a uh what is a property that uh steve martin should have never remade hmm. oh mm. i'll give you all right i'll give you the hint that half of this is a non sequitur it's one half of the seasons. It's probably okay. the second half. <laughs> um, I'll go with, uh, would you have a hot, hot gay sex with me? Mm. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yes. Correct. Correct, Bronze. Well That's played. Verbatim cool. what it is. Would you have sex with me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I yeah. just think you're a nice guy. I think you're a nice guy, but let's get back to the Pink let's Panther. Let's get back to the Pink Panther. Yeah. Oh, uh, follow up. Did he get back to the Pink Panther? He did. I didn't. He didn't say anything about how it's indoctrinating. He just said that like a lot of people in my time said it was indoctrinating. I just thought it was a bad show when I was a kid, but like you know, I didn't. <laughs> Damn. I didn't. I believe he's dodging the question. I he does that all the damn time. It's so yeah. Funny. He's actually amazing at it. Yeah. He's, he's like, let me ask you this, Sonny. <laughs> He's a real answer a question with a question guy. Mm. All right, Bronze, we got one final category. So, so many choices. Uh, let's <laughs> go with Joe six. Biden, six ton to it. Well, say uh, probably a few million. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, this might also be uh, how many votes for Joe Biden were illegitimate. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go with that. All right, go ahead, Daniel. How much money was put into the COVID vaccine? A few million. A few million. Um, how many people did Joe Biden kill in the Holocaust? <laughs> Bronze had it right. Yeah. It's how many votes were stolen? Which 
a few million yeah, yeah. still isn't Probably really million. isn't really yeah. enough to get over the not really today. yeah a few million no. yeah. yeah so okay. uh there was voter fraud but joe still won legally <laughs> yeah is is bob's uh stance i think it's I still, still three i still can't believe there's still a ton of arguments about all that even though next year is the final year of the first term uh yeah so yeah. I honestly yeah, don't we're still unpacking people... this. Uh... Yeah, that's that's all. That'll be four years of illegal Joe Biden presidency. Yeah, <laughs> clearly because there's an other side to the argument, and the argument needs to be had. Of course. Yeah. All right, so we're at the end of the second round. Scott's in last place with one thousand nine hundred and one points. Oh. Bronze is in second place with two thousand one hundred points, and then Daniel by twenty points is in the lead with two thousand one hundred twenty points. So this is going to be an interesting bid. I'm going to go to Final Jeopardy. So the way that I'm going to do this, I want you all to kind of text me what you want to wager of your point values. I'm going to record that. I've already forgotten how many points I have. You have 2,100, my friend. You okay. are just have 20 points under Daniel. Hmm. So it's anyone's game here, really, because there's only 220 points between all three of you. I sent it to you on Twitter. All right. I had to buy a second monitor for this game, by the way. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Which, on top of Scott's $10,000 appearance fees, like, yeah. I've spent a lot of money on this show. It's been, a, yeah. But again, money well spent. Money well spent. I told Browns about that. Like, it's okay if we I charge you card for that, right? And you were like, what? Of course. All for content, you know? You guys are spending a long time to type four numbers. Scott's done it. I don't know what you two are doing. I sent together. it on Discord. Discord. Oh, wait, um, what are we doing again? Oh, my God. <laughs> that should be a disqualification. Come on. You got to wage your point value. You have 2,120. We got one final question you're going to answer. It's the final Trumpster Bob Jeopardy. Okay. So, uh, just send... Just send it. Don't say it. Just send it. Although it doesn't matter because other contestants have submitted. But still don't say it. You are... What the fuck are you doing? He said 5,739. What's the matter with you? Why are you like this? And then you sent 2,129. Which is still more than you have. Two, two values that you do not have? You're going to begin owning me values. All right, so the cat... Uh, you should have seen the category first. I'm sorry about that. Esoteric I, knowledge. Esoteric knowledge. <laughs> mm. Daniel, what does esoteric ma mean? Well, hell if I you're, know. You're mean. <laughs> he likes to text me. He's like, I just discovered this new word, facetious. It means oh, when yeah. you say something you... that you don't mean. And it contains all words. the vowels in the alphabet alphabetically. Oh, it does. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. think about that. He's like, I don't know, I love That's Daniel. He's does. like, he reminds me of like Dogberry from Much Ado About Nothing. No, actually, more uh, Xander does saying that things are very aggregating. Look, my whole life has been depraved from knowledge. Okay, depraved from knowledge. Lie. I, I didn't get depraved to depraved from much. knowledge. Oh, my. my God. Oh, I, I mean, miss he, that. he made his own point. <laughs> I missed that. I missed that. All right. So I'm gonna have you all text me your responses to this. Bigfoot is nothing but an ape. <laughs> Bigfoot is nothing but an ape. But a ape. Uh, okay. Oh, I, I do like that he doesn't do. Uh, he doesn't. And. He doesn't. He doesn't do an, like at all. I I love that. I love that for him. Rotates around so like an egg. Bigfoot is nothing but a egg. <laughs> Can we get a egg to the most liked uh, photo on Twitter? <laughs> or tw Insta whatever the fuck that was. That was like six years ago. I love that he doesn't do out. He's consistent in the weirdest ways, but then he's also yeah. like America's overrated. Yeah, 
America's the worst country. Also, I, I would kill anyone who, who says anything bad about it. All right. Daniel is submitted. I have submitted. On I Scott have is submitted. submitted. And Bronze is submitted. Yes. So, we're going to start out with Scott in last place. He said, Do you believe in any urban legends slash cryptozoology? We're going to move up to Bronze, who's at second place. What is the craziest conspiracy theory you believe in? And Daniel has said, if Bigfoot was real, what species would be classified as? Hmm. I'd say those are all correct. The question that I had asked is, let me see what I've written. What is the biggest unknown fact in history? I'd say those are all applicable. Hmm. So it comes down to the wagers. Scott bid... 221 points, which brings him up to 2,102 points. And currently puts me in the lead? Currently puts you not in the lead, because Daniel's got 20 ahead, of, 18 ahead of you. Oh, I uh, misheard what the points were. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You just you, up you still lost, because you knew we got it right. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Bronze wagered all in, so he's up to... 4,200 points. Redemption arc from that Final Jeopardy mishap. Embarrassment. And then Daniel had submitted 2,120 points. He went all in, which puts him in the lead. 4,240 points. Daniel's our champion tonight. Well done. Yeah, baby. I'm surprised Ugh. you didn't go for all in, Scott. Well, no. You when you're uh, when you're behind, you go game theory. You go you you bet to beat uh, first place by one dollar if they bet zero. Okay, that's a good that's a good argument. I t- I would just would have gone all in because then it's just like I lost or I won. <laughs> oh, uh, good. That's why you'll never be on fucking Jeopardy. 